We've got one from our lunch mate, Chrissy, who's actually at home today. Chrissy, hello, love. Tell us what's going on. Uh, oh, hey, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, um, I'm someone that used to consider myself as someone who's extremely adventurous in the bedroom, really comfortable in my own skin. I celebrate sexuality and intimacy without apology. Um, but I've noticed a bit of a change in me recently as I'm getting older and becoming a bit more inhibited. And it's really causing loads of problems in my love life and any relationships that I'm in because I've sold myself as this, the sexiest glamour puss in all the land when really I might not be. So my question is basically, I want to feel comfortable with being a bit more boring and it doesn't sit well with me. And also, how do I communicate to potential partners about... Um, the things I'm comfortable doing and the things I'm not, because obviously they think I'd be swinging off a chandelier on a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> this is honesty. I know, I know. Uh, Chrissy, yeah. Chrissy, how old are you now? I'm 42 and single, and there's no reason for me to be single, really, but there's some of wrong, obviously. OK. <laughs> OK, so I want you to tell us, when you think of a sexy 42-year-old woman, what does that mean to you? What does it look like? Please send me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's blonde, a Gemini. <laughs> Sorry, Chrissy, I'm making it about me again. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> but you want a part. <laughs> 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 Sexy to me, as a 42-year-old woman, is someone who is confident, someone who um, is liberated and free. And, you know, age isn't a problem when it comes to being sexy and... Embrace me. I flaunt it, and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know. So, for me, it's freeing. Right. OK, you're saying quite a few contradictory things. And I think, oh. that that, <laughs> I think that's probably where the issue lies, Chrissy. because do right. you think that there is a little bit of a disconnect between your public persona and what you're showing on Ooh. Instagram, for example, which is beautiful, but it's overtly sexy? You know, and you are a sexy woman, but it's quite sexual. Is there a disconnect between what you're showing in, in public and who you are now as a 42-year-old woman privately behind closed doors? Is that where men are getting the wrong idea about you swinging from the chandeliers? <laughs> I mean, you, you, oh you've got me. I, oh, my gosh, yes, that is exactly it. Like, um, I feel... I've almost created a monster, and fair enough, a sexy monster, but it's like I feel really under pressure now because I've sold myself as this, like, adventure, like, the ultimate glamour puss of, like, the world, when really I'm just sat at home in my rollers, dunking biscuits, <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. So when I'm going on dates with lads, they're thinking, like, they're going out with the glamour puss when I'm just, like, a Yorkshire Asian bird who wants to have a biscuit. Got you. Got you. OK, so here, here's, my, here's my tip for you. I think that you've got so far away from your authentic <laughs> self, who you really are, is Chrissy that wants to dunk a biscuit, who's 42, you know, li living in the north and just wants to have a, a quieter life. You've got so far away from that. It would be helpful if you started to reflect more of that on social media, because you can be sexy and confident and independent in so many other ways without having to be overt about it. So I think possibly yeah. that's that's where you could be going a little bit wrong. Also, there are studies that show that if you're more authentically connected to yourself, particularly online, you're going to be happier, healthier and more confident. So just try and connect mm -hmm. with who you really are. There's something else around reframing your uh, self-talk and the image you've got of yourself because you, you're talking about the fact that well how do I get comfortable with being boring don't consider yourself to be boring you're a beautiful independent confident 42 year old woman who's different to how she was when she was 20 or 30 so accept that and own that because actually that confidence is sexy without having to show your bra yeah. Oh, I love you, Anna. <laughs> you too, Chrissy. <laughs> Excellent. Cheers, Chrissy. We'll see you back in the studio soon. Um, I've got another uh, question. This one uh, has come in 